If your FPS still sucks or your aim feels delayed, but you've already followed every YouTube tutorial and settings guide, this video is for you. We're going to break down the most popular optimization myths that are not only wasting your time, they're likely hurting your system's performance. By the end, you'll know what's actually worth doing and what to avoid completely if you want real, measurable gains. You've seen them, apps claiming to boost FPS by clearing RAM or shutting down background tasks. The problem? They just kill random services, many of which your system actually needs. They also end up adding unnecessary registry entries that do nothing or make things worse. At best, they're doing what you could do in Windows manually with a simple YouTube video. At worst, they break core drivers, mess up your compatibility, or cause crashes. Real FPS comes from tuning CPU boost behavior, RAM timing, power states, and guess what? The game boosters touch none of that. One client used a game booster that disabled half of their CPU cores, his PC started performing worse in every game he played. We restored how his CPU cores actually should be, cleaned the drivers and windows, and unlocked smoother performance. No booster ever touched that. You followed five different optimization videos, changed your power plan, set best settings in Fortnite, and somehow things still feel off, right? They're giving you the same surface tips, but none of them touch BIOS, drivers, scheduler tweaks, or background latency. We build your setup around your hardware, not a one-size-fits-all script. We had a guy with a Ryzen 7 and a 4070 Ti who said that he followed every guide on YouTube. He booked our casual optimization, and in 45 minutes, we cut input delay, boosted FPS by 120, and completely stabilized his frame times. Disabling overlays like Xbox Game Bar, Discord, and GeForce Experience helps, but it's not a full optimization. It's one step out of 30. We've seen systems with every overlay off, but they still lag because their CPU is throttled or RAM is stuck in safe mode. Overlay tweaks are the tip of the iceberg. Real optimization goes down into system architecture. One player came in after disabling every overlay, still had constant stutters. We fixed his memory instability, boosted his CPU speed, and cleaned his driver stack. Instant transformation. You grabbed a rec file or a bat file from some Discord server, ran it blindly, and now your game feels worse? Most of these scripts are copied, outdated, or completely unnecessary. Some disable network services, others overwrite power settings that your system needs. We manually tune every system live with purpose. No blind scripts, no risk. We optimize a PC where the client had used a batch script that disabled services needed to install his GPU drivers. It locked him at 60 hertz and broke hardware acceleration. We rebuilt his windows, reconfigured services, and gave him the smoothest gameplay he'd never actually had before. Yes, enabling XMP is better than leaving your RAM at 2133 MHz, but XMP is just a profile, not a full tune. We've seen RAM that runs faster on paper, but still causes instability or crashes because the voltage is too low or the frequency isn't stable. We manually stress test and validate RAM frequency, gear ratio, and timings for your exact board, so you get maximum bandwidth without random crashes. One guy booked our competitor of optimization because his game crashed every time he would try to launch games. We manually tuned his RAM, fixed his CPU instability, and it's been butter ever since. Faster and stable. Just because your FPS counter says 300 doesn't mean your inputs are hitting the server fast. If your CPU is parked, if your USB interrupts are coalesced, if your scheduler isn't tuned, high FPS won't matter. We optimize for feel, not just frame count. Input delay lives in layers you won't see in the settings menu. A client with a 4090 and a 13900KS said his aim felt floaty, even with 400 FPS. After we optimized his overall system latency, he said it felt like aim labs in real matches. This is the worst mindset. Most PCs are underperforming silently. You're leaving performance on the table without even realizing it. Just because your game runs doesn't mean it's optimized. Optimization is about extracting every drop of power from the hardware we paid for. Why leave 20 to 30% of performance locked away just because your game launches? We've optimized rigs that felt fine until they hit a packed endgame or stream load. After tuning, clients say, if I knew it was gonna feel like this, I would have bought months ago. That's what we unlock. So let's set the record straight. These are the actual things that impact FPS, delay, and feed. BIOS tuning for CPU boost and stability, RAM tuning, like frequency, channels, and the voltage, driver cleanup and configuration, OS scheduling and power isolation, safe overclocking when supported, background service control, and GPU driver tuning. It's not about hacks, it's about control. We recently optimized an i9-14900K in a 4080 setup, and out of the box, he was getting a 
around 500 FPS in Valorant. After one casual optimization, he was pushing well over 1100 FPS. That's not overclocking, that's real tuning. BIOS, OS, RAM, and drivers. This is what happens when you stop guessing and start tuning. Quick answers to the top three questions we get before someone books a session. Will I lose files? Yes, you will lose files on your C drive. However, any other drives plugged into your computer will stay saved. Is it safe? Yes, everything is done manually with you on the call, no scripts, no risk. What if it doesn't help? You get your money back, simple. You've tried YouTube tips, you've tried configuration packs, but if your system still doesn't feel how it should, it's time for real optimization. We've helped over thousands of gamers get smoother gameplay, lower input delay, and consistent FPS by doing it the right way.